In this episode of Minecraft Gameplay 2019, Captain Kool-Aid Man, number 7, Fortress Builder, this is episode 4, I uh, show you how I'm building some towers around my fortress to protect my, my villagers, and this and much more right after these uh, brief messages on Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Rule your Bitcoin. Sign up today and get $5 to invest with. Mogo Crypto is the easiest way to buy and sell Bitcoin in Canada. Try it out with a free $5 on us. Plus, get an extra $5 with every successful referral. Sign up for free. Go to https colon forward slash forward slash app dot mogo dot ca forward slash capital U lowercase k zero three lowercase v w uppercase u b a q referral code j one G D A two H four. Well, hello there. Welcome back, gamers, to Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, Amiki. I'm back. I had a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a lunch, a turkey sandwich, some veggies. Back in business, we're going to have a little bit more adventure with Minecraft Lithos, uh, with my hero, Captain Kool-Aid Man, number seven. He's a brave, courageous knight. Uh, you've been watching my videos so far with Minecraft. Uh, we were able to tame some cats. Now... I had them on leashes, but I decided there's no point in leaving cats on leashes. It's not it's not kind to cats to do that. So I let them go off the te leashes. But if you look here, where I am right here, just a moment here. I'm just going to load my game here. Uh, if you look here, back to my little village here, Latino village, my kitties are all very well behaved. You'll see many of them are sitting down because I used... Uh, uh, I used something called uh, Potion of Turtle Master, and I used <coughs> fish. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> I still have a little bit of a cough. I'm recovering from a little bit of a cleanse. <coughs> <coughs> well, we're doing okay. I'm feeling better. Don't worry. I'm going to get through this. Now, where's my salmon? No, we're not cooked food, uh, raw food. So here's my salmon. Now if I feed him, sorry, feed him some salmon. They, they love me, they adore me. And they, and then also they make love too and they, and they will eventually, uh, they will eventually propagate. Now I have to, to make them mate, they can't be under the potion. See, these the, will we'll have a kitten now. It's not a little kitten here. See, the, when I press the kitten, the magic p turtle potion, they I mean, instantly obey me now. So, so now, now they're all at my command, these cats. See, I'm gonna feed them some fish. And there you have it, see. They all obey me. They are my command, these these kitties. So I'm not going to waste too much time with these kitties. I just wanted to let you know that there you can train these kitties. You can house train them so that they they uh, obey you and that they won't run around. And this, you know, they will behave. They'll be behave themselves. Give a little fish to my uh, cat. Let's get more fish. 
There's a zombie there. What's he doing there? He invaded my house. I better do something about that. Get a sword quickly. Or a crossbow even better. Damn, the sword's not help. The crossbow's not helping too much, so. Damn, these guys. Are you okay? Oh, he's sleeping. All right, so he's okay now. All right. Good. We're all, we're all safe. Now, I, that's this is why it's imperative that I build a fortress around my village and be able to and be able to protect it. You know, because I'm going to have to not only invading armies but zombies, of course. We're gonna have to uh, work on this, guys. I'm gonna have to work on more of my fortress. If you see here, I built quite a fortress. I got a small, I have a small tower here and a couple of large ones inside. So there's gonna be towers all around this fortress. And there's gonna be, so, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have um, golems. I'm gonna build golems another day to defend this place. Now I have to find a way of preventing spawn monsters from getting in here. If I could just get my crossbow, I can shoot these mother lovers. Because I don't want them blowing up, especially these creepers. I don't want them blowing up my uh, my castle. It's the last thing I want to do. Let's shoot them from a distance. Ah, I missed out. I wish this thing had better targeting. Damn, it's not working the way I want it to. Better just get a sword. But I'm not gonna hit him close, close range. So that's it. Now I have to create some kind of torches that will prevent this kind of thing from happening. Because I don't want these things reproducing. I don't want any monsters, any spawns, out inside or near the castle walls. And I have to find a way to do that. Do not want them reproducing. I'm going to have to post some golems outside as well as inside the wall. Because I can't have these guys reproducing. It's hurting my poor defenseless villagers. I am, I am devoted. I am determined to defend these villagers from these horrendous monsters. Nowhere near the, my village will they enter. And just torch this place really light, very illuminated, so they just can't have any place to, to uh, reproduce at all. I am going to work on repairing the floor, don't worry. But right now I've got to focus on... Okay, that's all lit up now. Now I'm going to make it a little bit more fancier later. Oh man, not this guy again. He's damn stupid. Get him off, get him off. At least he's dead, okay. Let's get on with the building already. So we're just gonna get our, oh, I dropped my crossbow. No matter, no matter. Come on. 
on. Well, there's my crossbow. Alright, get back to the building. Now, if you see here, I have to have 18 wide by 18 wide. That's, that's the standard for the large towers. The smaller towers don't have to be that wide. So 18 wide by 18 wide is a standard for all the width of the towers of each of these. So, let's get our building materials all set up we can always add refinements later but we're going to we need to have a basic standard of what we're going to do so for the width of the actual floor we have i'm going to get some torches just to light illuminate this thing one two three four five okay one two three four five Two, four, six, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, let's count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, okay, got 18 there, 18 torches, kids, can you count with me, 18 torches, see, see parents, I'm actually giving your kids some arithmetic lessons, basic arithmetic, while, they, while your kids are at home relaxing for a summer holiday, all right, there's a torch, one, two, three, four, five, um, five six, seven, eight, not nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, that's obviously not enough. We need... We need a little bit more than that. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. Okay, we got it. We got 18 blocks across. 18 blocks um, in perpendicular. So, damn it. It's going to get across here with the stones. I'm going to have to have a wood floor eventually. I'm going to replace all these stones with wood. As far as the floor goes, build all across here. So I'll have 18 by 18 square. All right. All right. Got it. We got 18 by 18, folks. All right, that, that part's done. Now what we gotta do, pardon me, got a little runny nose. Still got a little bit of cold, so pardon me. Pardon me for that. Now, I'm just going to build across here. Just knock this down. A little bit of demolishing. All right, now the sun's coming up, which is good. All the monsters will start to dissolve, dissolve like nightmares in the evening. All right.
heavy breathing, it's, even though it's zombies, it's very annoying, very, very, uh, very unsettling, I mean, it's just say, not annoying. They are, they are gone from existence. All right, so here we have the tower entrance. Now, obviously it's not perfect. I want it to be balanced as far as measurements go for the entrance. So in order to do that, I have to adjust this. I have to adjust this. Pardon me. Okay, one, two, three, pardon me, sorry. My microphone's a little loose today. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, how was the other one measured again? I have another tower that's basically the same. Let's uh, get our little, let's get some buttons going on here. Alright, so if we measure here, we got one get a torch here. I'm gonna have to learn how to work my GUI. I'm not really doing a very good job with the familiarity with the GUI, with the graphic interface. So bear with me gamers, I will learn eventually. Two, four, six, seven. I got seven across. Let's get some more stone here. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's basically five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven across and left. Yeah, it's not really balanced, is it? And if I make it a little bit more to the left, then it'll be two, four, six. Two, four, six there, and then two, four, five. You add a little bit more brick on the, on the other side, and what you have is, is you need to add a torch there for measurement. We have one, two, four, two, four, six, and two, four, six. That's the way it should be done. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. All right. So that that's good. So we just got to get the, uh, the 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 door, and then we got to get. Um, I got a oak pressure plate for the door opening, so the people can come in from the outs inside easily. Can get, they can get out easily from the from the ins, inside. All right, that's good. So uh, we have to though adjust these 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 parapets here. So we just gonna adjust this a bit. All right. Okay, so let's just make this a little wider. All right, that's a little wider now. And I can just put buttons on the outside. And whenever I want to come inside, I just press the button, and I can get out there. Okay, so that's properly balanced now. But I have to adjust these 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 uh, these turrets are not properly balanced. This, these walls, castle walls, need to be adjusted. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Take your time. 
You're not dealing with PewDiePie, you're dealing with a guy who's kind of starting fresh from the beginning. After many years of Minecraft, by the way. But I've kind of like lost my mojo after a while. So I've had to kind of start fresh. Learning some new tricks and trick tips and tricks as well. But I'm kind of learning the stuff that should be known a long time ago. So we're not going to worry too much about this at the moment. I was in the middle of a building another tower. So what we're going <coughs> to, we're talking about the bigger one. So <coughs> we have to have one, two, three, four, five. We need six torches on the left and six torches on the right. Okay. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, how did we get that? That. Doesn't have to be perfect. <coughs> Hard. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going through a bit of a purge myself. So please bear with me as I do this. What what was I doing again? Gee, that was weird. Two, four, five. Okay, two. Four, six, okay. So for this part, I need torches just to measure properly. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's that should work, really. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, one, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third. Oh, I've got one. Okay. Wait. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got thirteen. So really, I I got this one too long. Two, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now this has to go. In order to be correct, correctly, eighteen by eighteen has to be twelve. Twelve torches across. <coughs> no more, no less. <coughs> that has to be adjusted. 18 by 18 that's that's the that's the rule so we're just gonna adjust this and we can always do final repairs after we just need to make these measurements correct I can't have any discrepancies with the measurements let that be a lesson to your kids check recheck and check your facts again when it comes to measurements always measure measure twice once or else you'll have to wreck part of your building whatever it may you be building whether it be a minecraft castle or designing a website or designing a you're designing some kind of furniture if you're a carpenter always measure twice <clears throat> cut once because if you don't then you'll have to go back on your project and goof and wreck it a bit and then redo it But it's worth it if, if you can eventually, the long way or the short way, it's worth it if the eventual result is a beautiful masterpiece. So the long way or the short way is usually is okay as long as you make sure that your, your end result is beautiful. But it's just saying, kids, why work harder when you can work smarter? My mom always said. So work smarter, kids. But then again, with 
mistakes comes wisdom and experience. So that's not something you can get by taking the easy route. I mean, you could, you could, you could do the easy way, but then again, you wouldn't. Maybe you wouldn't learn too much because you'd have everything done for you. So really, whether it be the easy way or the hard way, the choice is yours. Personally, I I do recommend the harder way because. When you when you goof up, you you gain wisdom from your experiences. Now I would now I wouldn't do that all the time. It's not good to do the hard way all the time, and it's very very important that you take calculated risks. Do not goof around when it comes to human life, or animal life, or nature. You know, ruining the environment. We don't want to ruin the environment carelessly, and you don't want to make haphazard choices when it comes to business or building you want to make sure you make if you're going to take a risk take a calculated risk and make sure to think carefully before you do something daring it's good to good to to be bold and brave and and to be courageous and do things that other people may not think is a good idea but you know what's a good idea in your heart but you want to be careful that you you don't you're not you're not flying from the seat of your pants. I, I don't know how else I can put it. Always check with yourself. Make sure it's the right way. You will know if it's the right way or not. I, there's nothing really I can tell you. Two, four, five. Okay. Two, four. Two. Four. Oh, I forgot. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I forgot about that. You know what? I probably goofed up again. We have it uh, really. Um, the real measurement is okay. May have missed may have miscalculation again, kids. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's twelve across there. So we just need to, okay, we, we didn't do a wrong thing. So we just, just getting nervous, that's all. So, so we just build a wall here. We build it there. And we build that. All right. Sweating, sorry guys. I don't have really have air conditioning, but I do have a fan with ice, and I have to freeze my ice before I use it. So that's why it's a little bit unusually hot. I may turn my fan a bit. Electric fan here, a USB electric fan. Pardon me, a little bit, uh, little adjustment there. I had to adjust my camera. All right, now, so we have this, I'm an adjustment here on my, on my, on my, uh, <clears throat> my tower. All right, now we're gonna have to get back to what I was doing originally, was building the other tower, because I got distracted from that, because the measurements, I didn't do the measurements properly. That tower is okay. I walk across here, and here we have. That's, we need 12, 12 by twelve, entirely, for the inside part, not the outside. Mm. I'm feeling a little sweaty today. Uh, let's get on with it already. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, four. Twelve across, but twelve across. But we need six by six. Six. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have to put a, a wall there. If you want professional Minecrafting and you're not satisfied with the quality of these Minecraft videos, go to PewDiePie. He knows if you want a professional who spends all his days on Minecraft with his water sheep and his and his loyal dog, you go to Mine you go to PewDiePie Minecraft. But if you want a guy gradually step by step learning Minecraft and you slowly gra gradually see his gradual progression, watch my videos. But don't expect the quality of my of PewDiePie on this video. If you're if you're annoyed at the quality of my Minecraft videos, then go somewhere else with their these these professional Minecrafters who are doing this 24/7. I don't get to do this 24/7. I work. I design a website. I go to. I work for a living. I don't have all the time I want to d just do Minecraft all day. I have other gaming videos that I do. So I haven't played for a while too. So please be be patient with me as I learn the steps involved. I'm 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 kind of learning. Uh, what do you call trial and error? I I have been watching a lot of tutorial videos, but I've also been just, you know, as Jordan Peterson likes to say, stumbling toward the light. So I've been stumbling toward the light a lot with this Minecraft video. So that's why I haven't been doing super duper well, uh, like I want to be. Two, four, f six. Okay, so that is proper proper measurement. So we need a measurement so it will perfectly align with these castle uh, wall, walls and castle doors. All right, these, here we go. All right. Okay. Now. There we go. Okay, now we have a better idea what we're doing here. Now, this tower is going to end up here. It's not going to have an exit exit tower. So, Two, four, six. Okay, six by six. Six entrance on the left, six entrance to the right. All right, so that's good. So we have to have it in such a way that we can put two doors. Okay. So, I'll put the door here, door entrance there, door entrance there. All right, exactly. Now, we obviously have to adjust these doors so that they're protruding from the outside. So, there's just some, some alignment with the style. Put the buttons here. All right. We adjust these buttons in this floor, and we're gonna put a, a floor button, floor trigger. All right, that floor trigger is done. All right. So. Now we're going to have to measure, make sure it's six across by six across from the other side. Now I'm going to adjust that. Six across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, six. Okay, that's not too good. 
Oh, but don't forget, this is a smaller, it's a smaller castle. Two, three, four, five, six. Three. So, we just need 12 across. Let's not, don't make it too complicated. Two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. All right. We stop there at that twelfth candle. We have to adjust the measurement here adjust our castle and we have to adjust this entrance here because we have a smaller tower a smaller one at the entrance here so now we have that okay have to have 12 by 12 I, I know I said 18 by 18 originally, but I kind of changed my idea, I believe. Now it's 12 by 12 in the inside. Maybe in the outside it's different, but in the inside it's 12 by 12. Kind of making this up as I go along. But the measurements will be accurate, and they will be balanced measurements. some of this stuff that says no longer serves any purpose. Okay. Now, there we have a perfect square. 12 by 12 inside, I believe. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. He didn't do it right, guys. I'm holding myself on a very high standard here. Not gonna give you a a bum steer here. So it's one two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this really should be across here. The measurement. Just the measurement. square is perfect now it's perfect perfect square perfect square and we have a good align alignment here with the castle here so the other tower the smaller tower so we're just going to adjust these these measurements for this stone here okay now we're gonna build looks like someone blow blew up my castle yeah, much as I, I feared. So this, or it could be just be my building. Haven't finished building that. Anyways, moving on. Let's get on with this building. Let's finish this tower, and then we'll take a break because I'm just reaching the pinnacle of my endurance with this today's game. I have I have played a lot of gaming of Minecraft, so I want to take a break from this.
All right. We'll worry about the floor later. First, we've got to get these towers done. These towers are the priority. That kind of, I like this, this design better. It's kind of mushroom look to it. You know what I'm saying? I like that look. Mushroom head look. I'll have to do that later. Finish this one tower. We don't have to finish it all. Just get the basic idea. Make it make it all across, same measurements. We can always destroy this later. So we're just gonna measure it up. Okay, so that part's pretty well done. Finish this wall here. It's getting hot in here. Can you tell? And it's also I have a spotlight on me. That helps. <laughs> Makes it hotter. Yeah, looks like a like it's actually raining inside, even though it's not, because the Minecraft game is raining. have to make sure the measurements for the floor too is done properly.
So now what we do, get some wood, wood, wood paneling. Oak wood paneling is sufficient. It's going to be a big tower, you can see. All around here. So I'm going to close this part up here. Okay, that part's done. Oh my god, not this stupid creeper. Wish I could target on this guy. Bead. Get him off. Get off. Stay there. Ha <laughs> ha. Show you who's boss. Okay. Let's get back with it. Let's get on with it. Uh, now, we have to adjust our measurements here. adjust our materials I don't need to have that anymore okay okay all right adjust this a bit Okay. Now I got that part done. Now we have to make sure it's kind of protruding a bit. All right. Making this tower here. We're gonna make a protruding parapet. That's the idea.
Okay. Keep moving all the way around here. All right. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's the best I could do. That. Now, I'm just going to adjust this a bit so that it's it's like a stone floor on the on the edge. That part's done. So now what we gotta do, we have to put extend it a bit. Kind of giving you a crash course in building a tower. It is kind of an interesting thing to do. Obviously, I haven't built this tower perfectly, but I'm just going to give you a basic idea of what I'm doing so you'll know what I'm doing. I need to measure this. All right. Okay. Let's get our doors right. All right. Get our buttons correct. Where's our buttons? There's the buttons, we need an oak button. I've got to find a way to fix this GUI right now, this graphical user interface. It's not working the way I want it to. I'll figure a way. All right. All right. That's done. And uh, that's pretty well done. Obviously not done the way perfectly, but we got a nice tower here. Let's get in from the entrance, from the surface. Obviously, it's not going to keep it like that. So let's uh, put a bed here, and the next time it gets dark, we're going to go to sleep. Can't go to sleep yet, it's daytime. 
can see how those monsters are dying because it's day daylight. All right. I'll put a little torches, torches on that, so that the light it will be illuminated. Get rid of these torches. We don't need. We don't need them right now. Not, not, not these many. We need some, but not many. We'll probably build a little bit of a wood floor paneling as well. All right. Now, now what we're going to do, all right, we're going to build a little bit of a wood paneling on the floor, and then, and then when it's dark, we'll call it a night. We'll call it a day as well. I'm getting a little tired. All right, at least wooden panel here. To close this up, we don't need it right now. If we need to open it up for a doorway, we'll do it later. It's not necessary right now. All right, a little bit of torch going on here. Not yet. Still daylight. But as you can see, it's pretty cool uh, interior my tower, one of my towers, there are many of them like this. It's going to fix the walls a bit. Obviously, I need to bring it all the way down. But you basically get the idea of what I'm trying to do here, like building a castle wall all around. Just going to wait for the right time to go to bed and then we'll call it a day.
we're just gonna take, bring it down here. Make sure it's lined up here. This one up here. Okay. All right. Part's done. Let's move it across here. Just buying some time here. So you see from a distance it looks really really nice always like it's not finished but you get the idea of what I'm trying to do here when I am building huh not trying to, but I am building a nice castle wall all around all around this this village all right let's continue building until sun sundown about ready to turn in. I'm kind of tired here. All right. We don't have to finish the tower today. Just going to get a good start on it.
All right. I think it's bedtime, so let's see if we can get back into our tower, into our bed. Obviously, the, the walls need to be adjusted some more. Let's get our torch ready. All right, let's go to sleep here. All right, we've gone to, we've gone to bed, folks. And there you have it. That's basically how I build my towers all around my, my village. I'm building a little, a little empire to protect the uh, my my empire, my my Latino village from the the violent raiders that are trying to invade. There, there's no chance in hell they're going to get in here because not only do I have the towers that I'm building, I'm, I'm building skeleton. I have skeleton uh, guards that shoot arrows. I also have uh, I'm building some golems to guard the entrances as well. Take a little break, and we will save and quit. And we'll continue on another day. Gamers, thanks for watching me play Minecraft, the Lithos uh, version, with my hero, Captain Kool-Aid Man, number seven. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of a extended building session today. Um, we were earlier on today. I was able to show you how to how to tame cats. And now I've uh, showed you how I'm building some towers around my 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 castle walls, all around the the village to protect the Latino villagers. And I'm eventually going to plan to build a huge castle for me to rule over over the city. I'll also probably build some more villages within the castle if I have not within the, uh, the like extended village uh, buildings if I have more room, more time. Oh, lots of time. I'm not going to rush this. This is not a game to be rushed. There's no, um, there's no goal. The, the adventure, the journey, is the game. It's not about how many. What's the limit? Where, where, when can I get to the end of this game? I mean, you can play that. We can play the Ender Dragon that way. But I'm playing this game to enjoy it. I'm enjoying this game. So I'm gonna take a little break from this Minecraft gaming to get back to the puzzle quests. And uh, when I have enough playing puzzle quests for a while. I'll get onto another game. Probably play some uh, some some retro uh, arcade games for you to enjoy. I would appreciate it if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google Plus. If they still like, if that still exists, if not, Tumblr, all the other social media websites you use on a daily basis. <clears throat> Subscribe to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Always is Play Theater, and click the notification bell. I would appreciate it if you also check my Facebook and Twitter. Check the links below. My Facebook, Twitter has we have a gaming channel, Facebook and Twitter, and a business website, videogamersalwaste.com. Facebook and Twitter, which I'm working on. So, thanks for asking. Thanks for all the well wishes. I appreciate the uh, support that I'm getting. Still working on on that website, but that's it's coming along. It's just gradually, gradually, it's getting better each day. And uh, please, uh, if you haven't already, please download the Brave Browser. It helps the, the YouTube work that I do here. Um, you know, it helps uh, give me some kind of um, additional digital tokens for every person who downloads the Brave Browser. Thanks for watching, gamers. I hope you have an awesome, awesome weekend um, uh, coming up ahead. But a great week. Uh, it's Wednesday, so have a great Thursday tomorrow. And take care of each other, gamers. Remember, honor and respect each other. In the gaming sphere, treat, treat each other with honor, play with honor, and uh, YouTube, let's have fun stuff on YouTube again. Let's make YouTube together, folks, a great place to hang out, great place to play games and share creative ideas. We'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, hello there. You you watched the video to the very end. Thank you so much. As a token of my appreciation, I recently uh, joined ExpressVPN because internet security is very important to me, being a gamer and internet marketer. I make a lot of videos, so I want to protect myself when I'm online. ExpressVPN. So I'll let you know, for every friend who signs up, we will both get 30 days free with ExpressVPN. Click the link below.